Greetings, my friends, and welcome once again to this weekend's Global Home Church Sermon. This is a church that teaches the truth from the Holy Bible, tells you the truth about the end time signs that show how close the imminent rapture is for those of us who are ready to go, and the tribulation for those who are left behind, which is sadly most of the world. It doesn't matter what your religion is, lack of religion, your sexual orientation, your sex, how much money you make or don't make, who you are, what you are, totally irrelevant. This is a place where we're all safe. It's a place where the Holy Spirit reigns. Jesus says we're two or three gathered together. In his name, the Holy Spirit's there. We have thousands every weekend from around the globe gathered here. The Holy Spirit is here strong. <coughs> and I don't take up any offerings, don't accept any money, never have, never will. Jesus Christ paid the price on the cross. Jesus didn't preach for money. I don't either because I emulate my master, although I'm not even worthy to even be spoken in the same sentence as him. So I love you guys so much. And welcome, let's have a word of prayer, and we'll dig right into today's sermon, which has huge, 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 huge end times implications. Jesus, I love you, and I thank you for another day to be able to serve you, to be able to get the word out to the masses around the world. It's such a privilege and an honor, and all glory goes to you as always. I pray that everyone who does not know you as Lord and Savior would find you today by the end of this sermon, and those who do know you, but who are, used to know you, but who are backslidden, they'd repent and return to you, as hundreds of scripture in your word says that we must do. I love you so much, and I pray that you bless everyone in a special way and touch their lives. Your precious name I ask it. Amen. So, my friends, we have severe crippling shortages of vital products, and it's pummeling the entire globe, and it may leave us in ruin, and I'm convinced that it will. So let me go ahead and read through a bunch of stuff here from, from articles that I found, and you decide for yourself. An ongoing computer chip shortage has affected cars, iPads, dog washing technology alike. Chipmakers like Intel have already seen production issues pre-pandemic, but as with many industries, <coughs> COVID-19 brought a variety of new supply chain issues. The chip shortage as a problem for, is a problem for consumers wanting basically anything with a computerized component, which is much of the economy. Take cars, for instance. The semiconductor shortage has hit automakers the hardest. In January, of the automotive industry set, lost $61 billion in revenue, from shortage this year alone. And the demand for chips has gone up as consumers scramble to buy cars and other technologies that use them. But as more cars went into production, chip competition went up. Since then, many car makers have been forced to shut down plants and prioritize which models they produce, while cars prices at dealerships have continued to skyrocket. Last week, Tesla C the Tesla CEO said that the shortage has, has caused insane difficulties for electric car makers as well. Even Apple, a company that many thought would be able to dodge the shortage after it started making its own high-power computer chips last year, said it will delay production of its iMac and iPad because of the shortage. And this is global stuff, my friends. Used cars and rental cars. Buyers are looking, <coughs> still looking for vehicles, creating a competitive used car market. As USA Today reported, used car prices are on the rise as the aforementioned chip shortages affect car production, and buyers have turned to older ones instead. Axios reported the average price of a used car has hit almost $18,000, and some reported as high as $25,000. And I apologize for my cough. Allergies are horrible, and they always affect me bad. A, a, a UBS note, note estimated that in April, used cars saw their largest monthly price increase in 68 years of tracking, with prices rising between 8 and 9.3%. If you're looking to rent, you also might be out of luck. Insiders Brittany Chang reported on the perfect storm hitting rental cars right now, with prices surging and demand increasing. Americans are itching to go on vacation this summer, as more people are vaccinated and some restrictions loosen, that's leading to far more demand, but rental car companies have had sold off parts of their fleets early in the pandemic, leaving fewer cars to go around. It's not all bad news for used car lovers, though. As USA Today reports, the trading market is hot, too, meaning your old car is worth a lot more money right now. Gas. Industry experts say drivers will face fuel shortages all summer. Demand for fuel and interest is in travel has risen as vaccination rates have increased, Lower gasoline production rates have also made the commodity more valuable as OPEC's been slow to curb production cuts. And you see down in the southeastern seaboard, a uh, whole eastern seaboard, they had a pipe area. And, and it's, it reminded me of the early 70s when I was a little boy with all the crazy stuff going on with the, with the, with the, with the oil embargo of, of 73, I think it was. Gas prices have skyrocketed in recent months, jumping 23% uh, in March for the previous year, according to the U.S. Bureau of Labor Statistics, Computer com, uh, Consumer Price Index. Much of the surge in gas prices has started with an ex extreme Texas freeze, which halted a fifth of the country's oil refining uh, capacity in its tracks for weeks at a time. 
Gas and oil prices soared further in, in early May, following the country's largest fuel pipeline being shut down by a ransomware attack, which I talked about. Plastics and palm oil, very vital things. <clears throat> the devastating winter storms in Texas also left their mark on the plastics industry. As insider Natasha Daly reported, the key, the state is a key plastics exporter, and the storms made many plants which are difficult to, which are difficult to reactivate and press pause. According to the Financial Times, rising plastic prices have led to an increase in packaging costs. Citing data from Mintech, the Financial Times reported that those costs have increased uh, 40% uh, from the start of last year, marking historic highs. Palm oil, which is in a majority of those packaged products, also saw its prices skyrocket. That's due to another labor shortage, and the industry has already been contending with finding more sustainable production methods. <clears throat> Truckers and rideshare drivers. And this stuff I'm talking about, my friends, is all vital. And when they start shutting down, <clears throat> the whole world shuts down. In September, of insiders Rachel Primick reported that pay for truck drivers was on the rise, coming in at record smashing labels of levels. But the pay hike and increased demand comes after an exodus of drivers within the last two years. On what called a, a truck trucking bloodbath, as trucking companies saw profits fall, with some even going bankrupt. Now demand is surging, and everything continues. The gap will continue to widen and deepen. Demand is surging for ride shares, too, but the drivers are not matching it. Uber saw record high number of bookings. The company even said drivers in some cities were making $40 an hour plus. Even so, current and former drivers outlined, outlined <coughs> some of their concerns with the returning of, of, of insider Tyler Shoemakers. Chief among them were the pan pandemic safety concerns and holding out for better offers. In fact, they said more than half of Uber and Lyft drivers have stopped driving. Both platforms have offered incentives to load drivers back, and Uber said it'll pour $250 million into getting those drivers back somehow, and effectively bribing drivers to get back and do their job. Homes and vacation sales, oh, uh, houses. The U.S. is facing a shortage of 3.8 million homes as of April, according to Freddie Mac. Some builders have been struggling to keep up with demand as remote work fuels interest in, spa in spacious housing with housing prices rising at their fastest pace in 15 years. The Wall Street Journal reported lumber prices are also driving the cost of new homes even higher. In the past year alone, the median cost of a home in the U.S. shot up 15% from 300000 to 340000 And it's even more this year. It's about three sixty. That measure does not even begin to account for the hot housing markets going on right now in some places where they're just skyrocketing even more. Even vacation home rentals are at all-time high. A home... In the Hamptons, rented for $2 million this summer, just for the summer. 85% of vacation rentals in, in popular, uh, like VRBO and stuff, are booked up solid. Lumber. If you're wondering why the houses built around you are getting more expensive, look to their component parts. Lumber prices have soared, and builders are even increasing prices to attempt to offset demand. It's due to another pandemic disruption as lumber mills were forced to tem temporarily close for safety concerns. When they reopened, they couldn't keep up with the, with the scorching hot housing market goosed by a work-from-home economy, record low mortgage rates, and the need for personal space during the pandemic. According to April analysis from the National Association of Home Builders, soaring lumber prices added $36,000 on average to the cost of a new home. Lumber prices remain stubbornly high, according to the report, due to mills being shut down, unexpected demand from big box retail, and yes, tariffs from other countries. Household items, including toilet paper and tampons. Many household goods, including toilet paper, diapers, and tampons, are also facing supply problems. One of the biggest pro producers of the pulp industry of, has been delayed. Port delays, shipping delays everywhere around the world. Shortages are causing huge price hikes. Last month, Procter & Gamble said it would raise prices for baby care and feminine products, as well as adult diapers, to combat shortage and shipping costs. <coughs> the same week, Kimberly Clark hiked the price of its Huggies diapers and Scott toilet paper. Furniture. Work from home lifestyle helped furniture industry boom, but to such an extent now, delivery rates are months out. In February, Lazy Boy executives said customers could expect delivery rates even up to a year from their order date. Other furniture companies are saying that they can't even get parts for the furniture to build it until December. And this is happening in China, U.S., all around the entire world. And they've, and they've pushed back delivery dates by even several more months because it's, it's, it's a, there's a huge furniture shortage exacerbated by a spike in homeownership and the number of available and unsold homes sits at record lows. 
In other words, a lot of new homeowners are waiting a long time for their new living room sets. Chicken and chicken wings. If you're having trouble finding chicken wings and chicken, you're not alone. The, 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 the price is tightening. They can't get workers because they don't want to work there. So your chicken and chicken wings are getting harder and harder. McDonald's has even, even, even launched its own um, fried chicken sandwiches and other sandwiches, but, but, but they're running out of everything for it. They can't, they can't even, 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 even get it done. Bacon and hot dogs. Bacon and hot dogs will be in short, in, in short supply. Plants are closing. People don't want to work. Cookouts, vacations, all kinds of fun stuff going on. Forget it. it, it it's, they're running out. Imported foods like cheese, coffee, and olive oil are drying up all around the world. Places like Costco says they can't find seafood and cheese and olive oil. And they're raising prices everywhere around the entire globe. General Mills are raising prices. Coca-Cola raising prices. All the cereal, Cokes, drinks, Dunkin' Donuts, coffees. It's all just being just, just crazy high. Chlorine <coughs> is used for <coughs> so much stuff around the world. The price is just going through the roof. And the, and the, and the demand is high. And, 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 the, and the shortages are everywhere. It's crazy, my friends. Corn. A key crop for the world, corn, is, a, is the food staple for, for the globe. Prices are skyrocketing. They're, they're going off, off the charts. And they don't, they're having bad, bad weather and droughts and, and, and flooding and, and, and rough winters and terrible summers. And people don't want to work. And they can't, they can't bring enough corn around. They can't fill in the gaps. Prices are going to be, keep skyrocketing. People are going to go hungry and poor. Oxygen. Everywhere, hospitals want medical oxygen, not just for COVID, for everything. They're running out of oxygen, running out of suppliers. The price has been skyrocketing. They can't find workers to do anything. And it's just, oxygen is vital, and it's just going going short everywhere. <clears throat> and now, labor that drives everything. A commodity unlike all others is surprisingly short supply, workers. Major labor shortages are hitting businesses across the world. Chains like Dunkin' Donuts, Starbucks, etc., anywhere, are struggling to find workers. <clears throat> Leading to reduced hours and hesitance upon opening indoor dining back up. There's a few possible reasons unemployment workers are opting not to return. According to insiders A. at Sheffrey, they include workers making more money on unemployment benefits to stay home than in their prior work, as well as continued concerns over COVID and the need to provide child care at home. And female tip workers are having very, very hard time. They aren't getting much money at all on tips. And it's a bad, bad, bad scene. My friends, we are living in the last of the last days. If this stuff doesn't open your eyes, and I told you in the video a couple days ago, <clears throat> when small business <clears throat> when small business shuts down, the entire world's economy will shut down. I said I talked about the US in my video the other day. It's the whole world. When small businesses in the world keep shutting their doors in record numbers, the entire global system is going to come to a halt. And that's what they need because the mark of the beast system will roll right in. It'll, it'll just take care of it. It'll fill it in the gap, and people will get the mark of the beast in droves, which will damn them to hell and the lake of fire. I can't wait for the rapture of the church. I want to leave this wicked world so bad. I loathe this place. I want to get out of here. I know time is not going to be much longer. The signs of the rapture are everywhere. All we're waiting for is Christ to snatch us away. My friends, Jesus Christ is all of our only hope. If you've never been saved, you're backslidden. Pray the prayer. Do the six steps I have in the box below the video. No one's guaranteed more time in your life. If you'd like prayer, Contact me. I pray for you every day. I love you all so much. Look up true Christians or a different draw now. You fly soon. May God bless you. Share this sermon. Share all my sermons, all my videos. I'm censored because of my faith everywhere on social media. They hate my guts. Help me get the word out. Take care of yourselves. I love you all so much. Take care and share. May God bless you.